Brock actually defeated Min Main to make it here to our winner's finals. What? Yes. Okay, that is crazy. What? Oh my god. But yeah. I mean, that was pretty surprising for me, too, because um, admittedly, I did the seeding today. But so and I saw Min Main, I'm like, OK, well, this is going to be high seeds. But at the same time, good job for Rock here getting to this winner's finals by taking down Min Main. But right away, we're seeing these right away. Um, BMM off to a very hot start here. Yeah. And this is really good, too, because the earlier the lead Pichu could get, the better it is, because Pichu is not one of those characters that wants to wants to be behind ever. Like, yeah, I, f I feel like just due to the nature of Pichu, it's going to be a very, very hard character to try and make comebacks with. But yeah. right now, it's only taken 8% damage, just 20% damage so far. Um, Rock hiding behind a Hydrant. We can set a bonus route. But Pichu runs in, gets Ooh. the Thunderbolt. Barely missing that, too. Thanks to that very good DI from Rock. Seeing that... It, that's a very common Pichu setup. So... Rock was very well aware of it. All right, connects with the boss, Galaga, and is able to get a little bit on this Pichu. But, oh, waits out that smash, gets a dash attack. That up smash from BMM. Nair. That was actually really smart, too, because the Hydrant, uh, when it's hit, just like with a lot of things, when you hit something in this game, the hitboxes last a bit longer. And using that hydrant to hit the other side. Oof. And this is what I said live by the Pichu, die by the Pichu. Dies at 109 to that stun to the forward smash from Rock. And from the other side of the stage, too. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. So Nair comes out from BMM, looking for the lead trap situation here. Tries to roll back, maybe looking for the back air. Yeah, and just like we were talking about earlier as well, that this is not a character that's very good at those comebacks. Oof. We are seeing that Rock is just running away with this right now. Absolutely. Rock has been landing a couple of very big hits, in that, but we'll lose that stock there finally to BMM. But BMM now has 50 whole percent on the board, and that is not great to have when you're behind. Because Pichu is one of those characters that could die this early. Yep, Bell's still out for Rock. Pichu just shielding, 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 losing that shield. Oh, wow. A clank works out in the favor of Brock. This is dangerous. Because just a little too close for BMM and Rock will take that stock so quickly. Yep, gets Soon. that Nair. Ooh, I'm not able to capitalize on that. Who are skating on very thin ice to say the least wow and i bet that rock rock is very pressured to take this stock that's where that is and speaking of being pressured to take this stock, oh wow what an edge guard i i honestly think rock was was rock might have been caught sleeping a little bit there yeah I guess he was too focused on maintaining that lead and didn't think about possibly getting killed. So Oh, that's it! Whoa! Baby! What a comeback by BMM! That was crazy! It was looking great for Rock that entire game, and then BMM just takes that with a thunder! Wow! That was absolutely shocking. Literally. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. BMM. Just as we said, you know, BMM, uh, Pichu, a tough character to make comebacks. We just saw one right there in a dramatic fashion. BMM pulling a victory from the jaws of defeat and will go up one nothing here, looking to make it to make it to top eight final bracket. And this, uh, he just needs to take that next game and he can get this, but a lot of those things are that... Oh! Taking it right back to Smashville. Okay. I guess it's because Rock probably thinks okay, BMM got a lot of those kills off of things that won't hit me again a second time. So, he probably feels like he can, you know, win, win this one a little more convincingly. I think if you're Rock, 
you're gonna think twice about like willingly going off stage after that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, again, BMM looking for these combos, but Rock is able to get out of it with the with the hydrant drop. drop. We're seeing here that Rock has definitely gotten a much stronger start than he did last time, and that definitely could come into play here because. Yep, already. connects with that Hydrant. DMM already at 101%. Just like we talked about before, the idea that a lot of those things that BMM was hitting with might not work a second time, that is definitely, it definitely seems to be the case right now. Okay, good movement here by BMM, just trying to stay out of that grab range. We'll get the Nair to get Force Rock off stage. Just trying for the two frame with Forward Smash, does not get it, but does land Nair. Thunderbolt, yep, but Rock able to DI out of it. Trade working in the favor of Rock, but yep, gets the forward throw. Very smart from Rock there of seeing that BMM was going for that two frame and just rolling back to ledge immediately. Okay, good patient by BMM, waiting for Rock to land and just get the Nair to get him off stage. Rock is able to make that back, but living at one. 145. This Pichu living at 175. You pretty much get tapped and it's going to lose a stock here. Yeah, for sure. And... Gets, a, gets a down air off the Hydrant, but still living at 162. Um, I don't think... Nope, oh, not no. going to make that back. That's unfortunate because he was starting off so well for this game, too. Yeah, absolutely. This BMM, wow, just absolutely coming up with these clutch plays right now. I mean, that down air, like in the first, in the previous stock, was absolutely critical there. That's gonna kill. We'll get that back throw, even up the stocks, and pretty much even up their percentage. Just what? Wow! Just <laughs> throws the key at him. Just at, just after stalling for a little bit. Um, Oh, and we have seen that Rock is very good at racking up that damage, but it does seem that Rock is also a player who does have a bit more trouble with killing, but that is common with Pac-Man mains, honestly. Yeah, I mean, you see, you know, you're seeing the bell come out, and that's obviously one of best Pac-Man's best kill setups. Yeah, but because it's one of those great kill setups, it makes players who are playing against, playing this matchup very aware of how dangerous it is and knows everyone knows exactly how to deal with it honestly right oh wow just barely gets away out, out of that grab range <gasps> we'll get the nair and that's gonna take the stock right there speaking of knowing exactly how to deal with it there are not that many pichu mains anymore so it's honestly a lot more surprising whenever pichu oh was looking for the, was looking to end it right there with the dare but just not able to get the sweet spot BMM at 109, shields against the shields against the bell, but connects there, and that's going to take the stock. So already, even stocks right now. Yeah, already a last stock situation here, and Rock needs to take this because he does not want to be in. Well, he would much rather be in winners bracket of top eight than losers bracket for top eight. Yeah, qualifiers. absolutely. But I mean, I I almost feel like you know what happened in game one's got to be in the back of Rock's head right now. For it's sure. just BMM has BMM has a way to just being very sneaky of suddenly taking stocks, okay. but we'll get hit by that bell. Yeah, uh, any offstage situation for Pac-Man is going to be dangerous. Looking for it here, but the Hydrant um, able to protect Rock that time, but does connect to the bell once again on the top platform. Too high up to get killed by that. Wow. All right, BMM holding center, looking at looking for that approach. Whoa, man, kind of mash it out of that whiff, whiff grab there. Bell almost connects again. Oh, okay. I saw what I saw what Rock was trying to do there, just letting the letting the hydrant push the bell forward into into BMM, but BMM. Did definitely see that coming. BMM currently at 121, making it back to stage. Avoids the key, gets back thrown. 
Rock in command right now. Shield the bell. So far, we've seen that every single time the bell has landed this game, it has been too high up for him to be able to get a kill move off of it. And I think that actually is... Oh, that's right going to do it. Oh, no. Oh, that... Now, Whoa, still no. no. The, <laughs> the apple will take it. And Rock will even this up at one to one. That is not a kill you usually see, especially when he got that bell landed in a good spot twice. Yeah, I, I was I thought we, that first bell hit was going to be it. And then I thought the second bell hit, that's got to be it. And nope, the apple, the good old apple. That is will not, take it. Yeah, that's not what you'd expect from a Pac-Man player. Uh, in the chat, Apple for the win. Oh, literally, <laughs> that that was the case there in game number two. So we're going to have a game three here to see who will move on to top final bracket in pool seven. All right. And I'm sure that BMM does not want Smashville again, because that is a pretty good Pac-Man stage. Probably something that allows for <laughs> Pichu to do a little bit better, maybe live a little longer, because Pichu can kill very well in a lot of different areas but Pichu can also die very very easily so picking a big stage might be a good idea i mean if you were bmm who would you pick Ooh. maybe something like battlefield maybe mm. Mm. although pac-man does have decent enough ladder combos as well that would help rack up damage but actually no that might also help avoid uh, setups from Pac-Man. Oh, nope. They're going to run right back. Oh, okay. So this is a Smashville set. So here we go with game number three to see who makes it into winners. Top eight. All right. Here we go with Pichu's combos. Very, very good start here. All right, well, I mean, so far it's been all BMM, which is the movement, but um, Brock able to get a couple of combos there. And again, Pichu just so, so light. Just takes damage so, so quickly. It just mashes out of the bell seemingly i'm not but again oh misses thunderbolt but will land that forward smash and tries for down smash there but great shielding by rock and rock is playing a lot more patiently this game than he has previously where we've seen that rock has been on the back foot for a lot of these games but normally, when on the back foot, Rock would try and get something going. But for the most part, Rock has just been staying back a lot more comfortably. We'll get fair there. BMM looking for the edge guard. Was trying for the down smash there on ledge. Rock looking to set up that bell. Not quite, but trying to get the gimp with the thunder with the T jolts. Oh, uh, oh that I was about to say that could have been punished there, but. It was a punish, just not a kill. But, but that, that definitely will do is. it. Yeah. So BMM living at 99% here. Yeah, now honestly, Pichu with the bell is kind of scary, honestly. It seems terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> right, Nair coming out. Oh, wow. The, the Hydrant kind of assisting BMM there almost almost could have been a pretty slick setup oh, oh no goes no. and rock's been missing these these hits with the bell you know converting these bell hits but does take the stock there but you just kind of feel like you know in order for rock to take this you got to be more consistent with with getting those punishes once you get the bell yeah definitely like those are like some very basic things that you learned very early on with this character, and maybe it's nerves because this is a very stressful matchup for sure. Absolutely, does get dash attack there. 
and has the bell out. Jab lock, jab lock, forward smash. Oh, looking oh, for the spike. Wow. That, that, well, almost got two frame there too. Yep, BMM's gonna punish that dash attack with the with the nair. Now, and look, see, it seems like Rock is starting to panic here because he's just sort of throwing things out now. At the start, he was playing pretty well, trying to keep it a bit more patient, but he is just rushing things now. Yeah, you saw that down smash there when Pichu was nowhere close. Oh, this might be a reverse. Oh, wow. Great. Great <gasps> job by BMM. Could, 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 uh, recovers to the other side of the stage and then answers and takes the stock. It's just, it's amazing just how quickly Pichu can take stocks here. And... Uh oh. Oh my. Mm. I bet Rock just saw, like, he just had everything flash before his eyes. Absolutely there. there. We'll, you know, Rock will connect with a dash attack. BMM living at 119, still with two stocks here. Oh, connects with the bell. Does get it, does get it up air. But still not enough to take the stock, but that oh. will finally do it. That was a very weird interaction, too. Of the, because it looked like BMM was going in for an attack as well, trying to get a little more damage in. It just sort of got hit by the bell. I mean, not by the bell, by the hydrant instead. All right, just weigh out the hydrant. Was expecting the hydrant to actually um, get dislodged there, but does not happen. BMM just looking, looking for these approaches. BMM holding center, just runs up Nairs, looking for the edge guard once again, looking for the hard read on the on the forward smash. Uh oh wow! That could have been a that could have been a job lock situation there. With the insistence from the hydrant, we'll get the back throw for stage control. Rock able to make it back. And Rock needs to be careful here because even though I mean not Rock, uh well both of these players, honestly. Uh, Rock needs to be careful here because he's off stage now, and that is a very memorable game one on how that ended. So every single time he gets off stage, it must feel very threatening. Absolutely. So TJ there tries for the down smash on top of the hydrant, and it connects. BMM moves on to top eight. Wow, that was so smart there too, because the the way that. Uh, BMM used the hydrant to be able to keep the hitbox going out longer than normal as well made it so that when Rock is because Rock was normally used to the uh, to the down smash lasting for a specific amount of time uh, BMM was able to keep it lasting longer and so uh, I think Rock let go of 